Today, we are going to use REST APIs to add, change, and delete information in our BlueCat address manager, leveraging the BlueCat gateway. What are REST APIs? A REST API is a web service that uses the REST architecture to handle a request on a front-end web service, in our case, BlueCat Gateway. One of the key advantages of REST APIs is that they provide a great deal of flexibility. In leveraging these REST APIs, you allow other applications to consume the DNS, DHCP, and IPAM data from the source of truth. If your business logic ever needs to change, you only need to change the code in one place. An example of an application that could leverage REST APIs is an ITSM, like ServiceNow, which is used to populate forms or a configuration management database. By utilizing a REST API, you reduce the typos or mistakes which can lead to service disruptions. Today, we're going to show you setting some environment variables within Postman. We're gonna set the server IP address, we're gonna set the band configuration that we're going to use, the DNS view we're going to use, and then we'll receive a token which will populate when we send a username and password to Gateway, we'll get a token back which will enable the other API calls to be made. There are four types of REST methods we will be using. The first one is a GET method, and that retrieves data from the BlueCat Address Manager database. To demonstrate this, We'll use a GET API call to retrieve an IPv4 network from the BAM. We'll get the network ID and the name. We'll use the POST method, which creates new data or writes data into the database on the BAM. And to demonstrate this, we'll use an API call that will create a host record, and then we'll add a C name to that host record. There's the DELETE REST API method, which deletes data in the BAM database. And we're going to delete the C name that we have it just created. Then there's a patch REST method, and that updates data in the address manager database. So we're going to update the host record TTL. So to demonstrate these REST methods, we'll be using the REST API collection that is available on the BlueCat Labs GitHub repository. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go into Gateway and make sure that we have the REST API workflow loaded. So to do that, we can go to administration, and hit workflow management, and then we'll browse, and we'll need to find the REST API tar GZ file that's up on the BlueCat Labs GitHub repository. Once we import this workflow, we need to add permissions to it. So we'll go over to workflow permissions, we'll find the REST API, highlight that workflow, and then we'll go ahead and add the permissions that the user has associated with his UDF or user-defined field within the BlueCat address manager. Once we've done that, we'll have to restart gateway by running the command docker restart BlueCat gateway on the gateway server from the docker command line. Once gateway is restarted, now we can go over to Postman and make some API calls. So the first thing we'll look at is to make sure that our environment variables are set. So you can find that up on the eyeball and we have already pre-configured the gateway server and I have the IP address of my gateway server. The BAM configuration we're going to use in this case demo, the DNS view, and I'm gonna use the internal view. So those variables look like they're set and let's go ahead and make our first API call. So we're going to pass a username and a password, and I have set up a user of API with the password of API. Let's go ahead and send that information over to Gateway. And it came back with a BAM authorization token. So that token is now populated within a Postman, so now we can make the next API calls. So the next one is a GET REST API call, and we're going to get an IPv4 network. So let's go ahead and send that information over. And we got back the network ID and the name. I named my network a lab network. So let's go ahead and add a host name into BAM. So we'll go ahead over to BlueCat Address Manager. I'm in the uh, demo configuration. And in DNS, I have uh, two views, an external and internal view. So let's go to the internal view and I have a zone that I've set up, bluecatnetworks.com, and right now it's an empty zone. 
So let's go ahead and add a host name. So in this host name, we're going to add the host name demo.bluecatnetworks.com and give it an IP address of 10.1.1.4. So let's send that information over. Looks like we're successful. Let's go ahead and update the address manager. And there is our new A record or host name and has the IP address of 10.1.1.4 and a TTL of zero. So let's go ahead and add a C name to that. And we can see that our environment variables are set. We have the gateway IP address. We have the demo configuration and we're using the internal view. So in the body, we're going to add the C name or an alias of api.bluecatnetworks.com and then link that to demo.bluecatnetworks.com. So let's go ahead and send that information over. And it looks like we had success. Let's go ahead and update the address manager. And there is our C name. So now that we've created that, let's use a delete REST API method. And we're going to delete the api.bluecatnetworks.com record. So let's go ahead and send that over. Looks like we had a successful return. Let's go ahead and, and sure enough, the C name has been deleted. Then the last, we're going to update the TTL information to 30. So let's send that information over. And let's go ahead and look in here. And sure enough, the TTL has been updated to 30 seconds. The last thing I want to show you is since we have loaded the REST API workflow and restarted Gateway, it now has a Swagger page built into it. And you can access it by going to the address of Gateway, then slash API slash V1. And this brings up a way to uh, do the different posts, gets, deletes for different REST API calls from the gateway server itself. If you want a quick way or, or see how the REST APIs are constructed, you can go ahead and, and hit the Swagger interface. And I hope you have found this informative. Visit bluecatnetworks.com for more information.